Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 with me Alpha Pi Omega and the Duchy of Lazi. So in the last episode we had something that really hurt us and that is uh, we suffered or our Duchess Punge Matar II suffered pneumonia for which uh, from which she was cured by basically amputating half her face as far as I understand it correctly. Uh, I'm gonna remove her from uh, leading this uh, group of soldiers so that she can stay at home and recuperate. I thought she... Uh, I thought that I did that, but obviously I didn't, so that's my problem here. I'm gonna unite you guys into one flank and put you under the command of Poda, who doesn't like me, so if he dies on the campaign I don't really mind. So, uh, Duchess Skimathor is gonna stay home, uh, let's hope she's not gonna get any infection or anything. The Great Purification of Persia continues. Uh, she's 56, but, you know, we have a lot of running with her. She has uh, been writing a book for a couple of years. Oh, nice, okay, wow. Speaking about it, she got rid of it. So now she's just this figured, uh, which is interesting because it says attraction opinion minus 20, but for example my husband doesn't really care. He despises my paranoia, but he doesn't care about my uh, appearance, so that's one more thing in which I can say I am happy that I have him. I don't know if it's a bug or if he has something that uh, prevents him to be not attracted to me. Maybe Buddhists just don't care about appearance, or maybe he's just... I, I'm not sure. So, that's one thing that's happening. Our army is marching to the north. Uh, we're down to 600... Wow, 525 troops out of the 1700 that we had in the beginning. But finally we reached the battle. And AI is really not giving a shit about attrition. At all. Okay, and they're murdering our troops here. So, what are the Mongols... Trying to do invasion of Uyghur, it doesn't really give me much. Is that like a kingdom? Uyghur? Oh, okay, so this is what they want. Well, they can have it for all I care. My troops are there, but I'm not, so there, there you go. Uh, as far as uh, societies go, we're doing really good. I like that. We're gaining 10 from learning, 2 from Dojin, 1 from Scholar. Um, with a bit of luck, we might actually have what it takes. Yeah, only Prince Bishop Philip has more than us. And that's because he has higher learning, it seems. 81. We have 60, yeah. So he has more learning. But if we manage to level up, we might become um, the leader of the Hermetic Society, which would be awesome. I'm also wondering what the magnum opus is. I would like to write that one once we're done. But we get our air running in the same train. Uh, tempo. So once he gets uh, to the throne, he will uh, become... I mean, and you want to become... Sure, I'm gonna fulfill that ambition of yours, my son. You deserve it, so I'm gonna train my troops. And Kanyun, what is that? Staff officer of an army. Trustworthy deputies. So you're gonna become a Kanyun. And we need another commander, which is gonna be you. Okay. So we fulfilled his ambition, which gave him an extra marshal. I'm happy about that. We're helping him this way. His prestige is almost 500, that's awesome. What I don't like is that he's squandering his wealth, and I don't know how. Uh, that makes me a bit nervous, but whatever. It's your money. Uh, I'm doing that for you. You got also minus states, right? Yes. Good, good, good. So, Castle Town here is finished. Castle Town here is finished. So, this is the only one that we're gonna do. We're gonna need about 400 gold to get it to Castle Town free, plus about uh, 150 for the walls. I don't know. Oh, okay, they don't have the technology, so we're limited to just one level up now. 
and my second uh, second son, third son, because the second one has cancer and he's a priest, but my third son has a daughter now. We really need to focus more on, I keep saying that all the time, but we need to focus, we really do need to focus on acquiring more family members so that they spread and, um, you know, in case of another plague, which is eventually gonna come, uh, we will be much safer than we are now. So what the hell is happening here? Okay, the 40,000 something guys just decimated our little army there. And there's a tuberculosis epidemic here. Great place to be fighting. My dear son and brother in the Hermetic Order, Zinde, has stepped forth with an idea for a ritual that might invoke the presence of a divine being. Uh, the prospects of petitioning the divine itself for knowledge is tantalizing, and the idea was therefore received with excitement by the order. The ritual will take place in a few weeks' time. I have some interesting flasks that could aid us. Okay, so ingredients will be removed. Uh, okay, let's, let's help. I don't know what that will do. Uh, does it increase my relation with him or something? Uh, granted estates... Nice adventure. Fellow member of a hermetic society. Rank difference within the hermetic society. <laughs> my sister, I have a proposal which might there's an old letter detailing the possible location of some lost hermetic. Okay, let's do that. Uh, but we're gonna go for the closest one because I'm saving money for the village now. So yeah, I do not have much time to spare. And that one also gives highest chance of success. 174, so we're short 70. And then we're gonna revert back to Lhatsi, which is good. We have a couple of buildings that we need to finish here. Summoning the Divine! The time for the ritual has come and your order has congregated in a spacious room. Symbols scattered on the floor and you chant your hymns. I think we went with the secrets through the world. Let's go with the sun. Rulers throughout the Western Protector are becoming increasingly displeased with the performance of Protected General Treasurer Duke Feng Yin Yang. He knows little of financial matters. They say, and both graft and corruption run rampant in imperial bureaucracy under his watch. Decadence increased. Do we have decadence? I wasn't aware that we did have decadence. As far as religion go, more of 40, 50. All the side of Gaia and Odiana. Gaia and Odiana, where are they? The Divine Wing has given me cryptic advice on the pursuit of alchemy in many forms, but with ample time spent mulling it over afterwards, I believe I have deciphered what it meant. Good, stewardship minus one. Just what we need when we're writing a book about stewardship. Okay, we found the text. That's another hundred. Good, we're at 1400. Uh, still no idea about that intrigue, is there? No. Okay, hey, we won a victory here. Much needed one, though. I don't think that's gonna... Unless you destroy one of their armies, that's not gonna help at all. I'm trying to catch you, dude. Yeah, they get way too many troops. 20,000 white cavalrymen, 6,000 heavy cavalrymen, and 15,000... Special troops, that's just not gonna happen. There's no way. Uh, only 96 soldiers are left in the company. Okay, now we're trying what? What are you trying? You're uniting with the other troops, yeah. The war is lost. The Mongol Empire. Oh my god, Marshal 45. 12 plus 9, plus 10, plus 1, plus 3, Jesus Christ. Strong. Dreams of Conquest, health plus 1. My chief minister has improved relations. Okay, so we lost, a new realm has happened. 
Uh, Kaijin Karma of the Aztec Empire starts to abandon nomadic life and settle down in the Aztec Empire. Um, the Khazar people? What? Okay. Oh, okay. They're. Oh, because they. Uh, now I see. They reverted to Tengri, so they were nomadic? That's so weird. And news from China. When the first Mongol armies clashed against the Chinese regiments, few anticipated this outcome. While the Middle Kingdom put in a valiant effort, it has ended in a sullen retreat, and it is finally clear that the Tang Empire has lost the war against the Mongol Empire. Kagante Mujin stands victorious, while agents across the world are wondering what repercussions this will have for the political map we have come to know. Wow. Well, okay then. But you lost a lot from the event spawn troops. Being invaded by the Mongols. I like that. Uh, well. Goddamn Mongols in my garden. Have you dropped my troops or are they st no, they're still there. The 99 poor souls still there. Come home. To us. We lost about... 1500 men in that. It's insane. Two weak claims can be pressed. Claim what duo? Nah, I'm not interested in that. Oh wow, Mayor can provide only 347 troops. On this you are able to raise on 177. Hm. How are they doing anyway? Okay, you built... No, I think you had the toll booth before. I'm not sure if it was level 3. I don't think it was. You didn't build anything. You didn't build anything. Okay, I was praising them for too long, I guess. Now they became... Slackful. Peasant Revolt of Bomi. Oh wow. Well, I'm gonna join your war. But I'm not gonna participate, really. That's... Was it 90,000? No, you don't have 90. 90 have the Mongols. You had like 60,000. Hey, this is the new guy. Yeah, Protector General Miz He. That's not the one uh, before. That one has been probably removed and sacrificed somewhere. You have been presented with an opportunity to let everyone be reminded of your rulership. If you wish to mint new coins for your realm, it's the same event we had before. There's a Master of the Craft. Let's go with the same thing here. We became greedy, uh, but not the other worse event. Which is uh, deceitful. So, Castle Town, you are now ready to be built. And we can start thinking about advancing again in Latsi. So, training ground would be good. Actually, I think, man, we have the technology. Oh, this gives a bonus to the retinue. Yes, let's get that. Can we now finally get the retinue? Yeah, we should be able to. What we need is just the money. Oh, we have a different one. Different retinue now. Uh, oh no, my son has embraced a dangerous heresy. He became Buddhist. Convince him to reconvert. Engage him in a theological debate. Yeah, that one is much better. Demand reconversion. Okay, come on, convert. And let's look at the retinue because we have the maximum retinue cap has been reached. What the hell? Total 368. Uh, okay, we lost the trade temperate, that sucks. What's the problem here? It's not the money, we do have the money. Or just defense. Create a new being retinue. 
The archers would serve us really well. We don't have enough. Even the pikemen would serve us really well. Because we don't have enough of those. But why? Come on, what's the problem? Okay, that's 368. Oh, this one uses 450. Okay. Uh, okay, so now we need to build uh, the training ground. Now I understand. Okay, so retinue size plus 20. That will be what we need. So while you build the castle fortifications, we'll be okay here. We're not gathering the taxes. You're trying to administer the realm, and despite the high chance, you haven't even once done anything for us. That kind of sucks. Peasant revolt is over. That's great. Let's have a look around the world. Well, India is fractured again. But very nice. I kind of, you know, Ceylon was one of the choices that I was thinking about. So it's nice to see that they're doing really fine. What kind of religion do they have? Buddhist. Okay. They're Buddhists. And we got the Indrid here. The Seljuk are, I think, stronger than they were before. Yeah, they definitely have less troops, but they are bigger. Uh, yeah, they, they have no event spawn, do they? Yeah, they don't have any more event spawn. Oh, Abyssinia finally united even this little... Uh, peace and they moved up there. Why are you having two independent people here? Are they Coptic? This guy isn't. No, he is. Okay, what, what is this? Is that like a holy place for them? I think that might actually happen. Hold on, if we went like that, let's go with Taoist. And this is Gaia. And this is a Lhasa. Is that the two places that it tells me we do not control? Uh, Odiana. Odiana. No, it doesn't seem so. That's a bit weird. But Gaia is the one, right? Yeah, whole set of Gaia and Odiana. Okay. Marshall Lord Punt Sample told me about his ideas. Sure, we're gonna increase the spread rate. Uh, which is gonna put us back as far as money go, but... I know I wanted to go with the cavalry, but military organization is good as well. It's not just the retinue, it increases the supply element and morale of armies, which is really important too. And hey, we can upgrade the town infrastructure, but I might be more interested in castle infrastructure, honestly. Or improved keeps. Advanced fort level 2. Church fortifications. Oh, that might not be bad. Okay, let's invest into the craftsman. Hopefully that won't bite us in the rear. Town infrastructure. Court. Mustering ground. Stables. Castle town 4 and watch house car trading run yeah we're gonna go with castle infrastructure first the improved keeps will be great but they just give castle fortification level three and i think that's not something that we really do need we're more interested in the castle town first there's not much here that we would want popular customs increases city tax uh, tolerance would be good Sharp pits in the abdomen. Let's hope that it's not cancer. I'm not sure that did anything. Okay, well that's... Abdomen of pain is just like... Oh, minus one health. If I was 0.25, that might be cough then. Anyway, Ghana and Mali are still there. Oh, diarrhea. Okay, so the Aztecs do control the desert one. Nice. I like these um, trips through the desert. 
as they are in uh, Viki 2. I really like them. You know, having like a place in the middle of the desert, it must be fun. I don't like that. I wonder what the attrition is to go from Fazan to there. Uh, okay, we got fever now, diarrhea. Let's hope we're not gonna kick the bucket now. A merchant has managed to find out that the coins you had minted are counterfeit. You're being called a cheapskate since they do not contain the precious metals. <laughs> okay, we can take the hit of 200 prestige. Leon is growing. That's also interesting. Kingdom of Leon. Uh, okay, Ireland unified with and the exception of the Northern Territories, which still belong to Pictland. Saxony is huge. They stole a piece of Bohemia. They stole Vitomnierzice. Are they sieging Praha? Yeah, they're, they're fighting still, so Bohemia is at war with Saxony now. Oh my god, disciples of the old gods. You spend most of your waking hours on the private where you frequent the pass of whose bloody stool you have contracted dysentery. Oh no. Oh god. My wife is in your hands, pink silly. Pink silly. You never let me down before. Pinkso insisted that the only cure for condition was a naked midnight run. During the next full moon, he forced you to undress and sprint through the wilderness. Do not stop until your legs give out under you. He yelled after you. Expel the evil through your sweat. Okay, we're dead. The horrible mistreatment is minus 3 health, and we have minus 4 health from the dysentery. Uh, we're dead. <laughs> we're as good as dead. There's not much we can do. Ah, uh, well, that was the life of Pung. Okay, at least something ha good happened. We had... Uh, what? Increasing infrastructure and motivating the people. In what? Oh, in Rikaza! Okay, new roads, finally. Uh, well, that is... I'm hoping. I'm still hoping for the best. But. I'm not entirely sold on this. Can we send a concubine? Kaden. Oh, did our daughters already mature? I f forgot about that. No, they're the daughters of my son. Oh, they're good. Okay, so you're gonna become my spy master now. I would like to marry you. Is there anyone? I should have probably looked into this earlier. Arrange marriage between you and my daughter. But well, that means she's gonna leave though. Yeah, and I don't want that. So let's... Let's marry my daughter's into some courtiers. For example, you make it a matrilineal marriage. I'm gonna lose 200 prestige, but it's okay. We want children. And you are an incredible steward. So you're gonna be the one who's gonna administer the realm now. And same thing will happen to you. Uh, we need to find you a Actually, let's go with this. That's not all that bad. He's only 45, so that could work. Wait, did my son take the hits? No, they took the hits, but it's okay. I would like to betroth you to someone. Castletown was built in GSA. Good riddance. Okay, we can build the castle walls of the two, so that's it for us. Oh, seek treatment for illness. Come on, don't... Don't botch it again. I feel amazing. Oh, 
God, yes. Pink soda handed you a plate with great powdery substance on it. Apparently, it consisted of ground up scabs from a person in a worse state than you. Pink soda showed no indication of joking as he told you to lean in and inhale as much as you could through your nose. Okay. Oh, that's good. Uh, on this good note, I'm gonna end this episode here and start the next one. So, see you there.